Hello. Hello, hello. We are live, Main Street Station, friends and family. I'm Phaedra Lee. I'm T Love. How are you guys doing today? We're just chilling here. It's Thursday afternoon, and we were thinking of you guys. We're thinking of lots of ideas. We have a whole notebook full of plans as we wait to reopen the Main Street Station, which it looks like after the governor's announcement yesterday, we're probably looking at a few more weeks. So. Yes. So, at all in all, probably around the end of phase two, phase three, look forward to some really fun and exciting things coming from Main Street Station. Uh, uh, we really operate more as a music venue than yep. a bar, so uh, we're definitely looking for some great talent, and then all of the bands that you know and love will be back here and playing for your pleasure. Things will be just a tad bit different just to comply with some of the new rules that are happening and also to make you all comfortable. You got it, T. Um, yeah, she's so good at summarizing everything. And essentially, you know, at this point, uh, we are considered a bar. So I think what that means is that when we all have a couple drinks, we have way too much fun. <laughs> so, and since we have no food involved, um, and cheers to that. Cheers to you guys for having way too much fun. And I think sometimes, you know, boundaries are a little bit more open in a bar scenario, you know. And I was happy to see for all of my other bar owners that when the people go to the restaurant, the actual bar area will not have stools at the bar and essentially won't be open. Because I didn't think that was fair that, you know, restaurants have bars that they could be open, but we couldn't be open. But I mean, I get it. You know, you come to the station, you meet a lot of new people, you can move your tables around, you can sit up, uh, move a stool over to where your friends are, and um, we have a really relaxed atmosphere here. Yes. So I understand why, you know, maybe we have to wait a couple more weeks to open. But, uh, you know, we are a bar, don't get, don't get us wrong, but we also really identify more with the live music <laughs> yes. entertainment. So with that said, um, we want to add some fun to y'all's uh, next couple weeks by doing a really interactive game day. Game day. And, and this Saturday, yeah, this Saturday we want to start our first interactive Uno drinking game happy hour. So it's gonna be Uno Happy Hour. It's going to be a drinking game. And I would love to give a huge shout out to all of the patrons that have supported. See. Um, <laughs> see. Uh, that have supported um, the new part of the business, which is us being able to wholesale um, liquor bottles, beer, and wine yep. for you all. And we really, really, really appreciate yeah. your support so very much. With that being said, um, hey for our upcoming Uno day, date, play game, whatever we're going to call it. Play date. Isn't that what play it's called? Day. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do for the Uno play date is we are encouraging you to come up here, get your favorite beer, wine, liquor, or spirit, and we are going to throw in a cup or two of our famous gummy bears yep. and um, Phaedra's favorite shooters and tutors. Um, Jello shots. Jello shots. So um, we will give you the rules. And well, you're going to need the gummy bears for uh, reverse cards and you'll need the jello shots for wild cards. So you'll be playing along with us. We'll have four participants. It'll be uh, myself, T, Nikki, and Elise. And we will be playing traditional Uno. Okay? With a twist. With a twist. And we already have the rules, which are for every skip card that comes up in the hand, the person playing the card. Well, the person that you're skipping has to take a sip. A sip, okay. Uh, take the drink. Correct. Okay. For every draw two card that's played, the person that draws two has, has to, to take, take two, two sips. sips. For every reverse card that's played, both parties have to eat two gummy bears, okay? For every wild card that's played, everyone does a shot, a jello shot, or just? 
everyone does a jello yeah, shot. Yeah, everyone Let's does a jello shot. So, assuming that you could play with a party of two or you could play with a party of four or three. For every draw four, the person drawing four has to take an actual shot shot. Or if for some reason you just don't drink shots, you can take a long swig of your white claw, your twisted tea, or your cocktail. Yes. And we want you to follow along with us and play along with us and be a part of what it is that we're doing. Um, we got a few people watching. Tank, hey Tank, hey, you can get some people together and play with us. Okay, so the other twist to this um, Uno is that you get to pick your teammate. And whatever, whoever your teammate is, let's say it's Phaedra, I skip Phaedra, you and Phaedra have to take a drink together. If you are Team Nikki and Nikki puts down a reverse, Nikki mm -hmm. and Elise, both of them plus their team, yep. whoever's team you're on, has to take a drink. So whoever you pick, you're on their team and you are basically mirroring their actions. So if they do a gummy bear. Carol, I want you on my team. <laughs> Don't fail. I was going to snatch Carol. Oh. Sorry, the phone keeps ringing, guys. Uh, Bear with us here. Um, so pick a teammate, and basically we're going to mirror and have fun, and then we are going to come up with some arts and crafts. We are going to teach you how to make your own cleaning products because I know that's really difficult for you to find those now. So yeah. uh, look forward to Saturday afternoons between 4 and 7 for our different happy hour specials. Um, you never know. We could be doing some hey, giveaways. We could be doing bottle giveaways. We could be doing so, secret yeah. giveaways. We have secret no giveaways. idea. But all of these things are in the works, and we're really excited to come up with all of these different types of things for you guys while we're on lockdown. No, well, not lockdown. Phase one. Phase one. Well, I don't know. Yeah, the shutdown, I guess, official stay in your home order is over as of today, I believe. Tech, so, yeah. Yeah. Most businesses are looking at reopening on May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. The In the meantime, um, we're going to go ahead and probably set up a link on Shopify. If you haven't been to shopthestation.com, go there. You're going to see some really interesting packages, bundles, um, gift ideas, and we'll go ahead and set up one for the Uno Day, which is this Saturday, May the 2nd at 4 p.m. We will be going live at that time, and you can log on to pick your favorite person nikki elise t and phaedra and be on our team and play uno with us hi mikey hey mikey i know and you're gonna Matt. be playing <laughs> and um at that point you want to have hi, your Anne. uno packet package so we'll um we'll get that set up today yeah and you can go on shopify and place your order now you can pay with a credit card or paypal you can also select cash and pick it up here at the station our hours have somewhat adjusted. It hasn't been as busy as we hoped for you guys. So if you're looking for a way to give back and um, be part of the Main Street Station while we're not open, please, please, please take a look at that site and pick out a couple items um, and help support us. Hey Red, we have some great packages and ideas. Uh, Fab Five is five bottles for $100. And we also have some bundles, some summer bundles. Also, our select liquor bottles uh, have a one bottle option, three bottle option, six bottle option, or one case. So you can see the pricing is very attractive. Same thing with beer. You can do a six pack of beer. You can do a 12 pack of beer. You can also do a case of beer. And we went with the, I guess, pizza model. So the more you purchase, the more the price comes down. Um, so we we highly recommend uh, there's also a well package right it's like five bottles for six is that still a thing five bottles for 60 for the well yeah okay yeah so um you can buy five bottles of well liquor so that's still vodka gin rum tequila yeah. if you want um that's 60 bucks and uh there's some wine specials look forward to our mother's day baskets we're getting uh getting ready to put those yeah. on there you can purchase um scented gifts for your mom your sister your child's mother and and you can also purchase a bottle of wine beer 
Tito's, whatever you like to um, add. Interesting with it. question. Uh, yeah, are we testing employees? Well, testing really just comes down to taking your temperature. So, I think at this point, most anyone who's been here physically has kept their network of people very, very, very small. I know for me, I've been to uh, my house in the Main Street Station. <laughs> That's about it, maybe Publix. I think I've been to, no, I take that back. I haven't been to Publix, I went to BJ's once. Yeah. But so. I've not eaten any food from a restaurant or anything this whole time, because I just didn't know. But. Um, we have been checking temperatures um, right now. That's really the only gauge until they give us some kind of a kit to be able to test ourselves. But I know a few people uh, that have been here. We've only had not even eight to 10 people here at any given time. And they, a couple of them have been to the Speedway, I believe. Yes. So a couple yeah. of us have gone to the Speedway on purpose just to see if we have had it or have come in contact with it. Uh, we came off a couple of really major events um, starting in January, so there's no telling uh, when and if this hit anybody that uh, we know or you all know personally. Yeah. So, um, well, we made it through the entire uh, Christmas season and New Year's Eve where we probably had 20 plus, 30,000 plus people on Main Street. We had race week and multiple street events, including bike week and whatnot. So that saying uh, at this point, yeah, most of us have probably been exposed to something. Um, Just, yeah. And so I think a few of us went to get some testing done and see if we had it and maybe we didn't know we had it or were asymptomatic, so. Yeah, after, after all this hit, you know, some things hit close to home a little bit, so uh being forced to um take it seriously honestly uh was the greatest wake up call ever and uh with that um everywhere i go there's a mask and gloves yeah. <laughs> i am extremely particular when i go out i am not as um um hardcore about it when i am around phaedra every day or around a steve yeah. or elise uh, most people I know are working from home if they are working yeah. and for the most part I stay home or um, I am in a very very small yeah, group of people exactly. so I'm not, we're not going out trying to party or yeah. hang out on the beach I might go on a car ride or something but that's my excitement right now going on a car ride and driving up and down a1a we've been doing the bicycle thing um, yeah. Steve and I will go out and ride our bicycles around um, which is great around six seven o'clock at night You'd be surprised there's no one on the road. So it's really fun to ride your bicycle and not be worried about traffic. Hey, Autumn, how are you? She's our fire spinner. Yes. <laughs> oh, and Don, to answer your question, I saw your question a little bit earlier. Uh, we are not opening on Monday. Um, right. Phaedra and Pops have decided to wait it out just a little bit longer. So it's probably going to be um, end of phase two around phase three um, to make sure that everybody's comfortable. Uh, the employees will definitely be on top of all sanitation guidelines and rules, not only amongst ourselves, but for yeah. uh, the guests and, the, and your safety. Uh, you guys are as important as we are, so we want to make sure that when you come here, you're safe, you're still enjoying yourself, you're still having good time, but in a really nice, clean, fun environment. Yeah, we've spent a lot of time installing new hand washing sinks for the girls and staff to be able to wash their hands more frequently and some other things that we've done. So we just can't wait for you guys to come back and certainly are anticipating every single day while we wait and trust that our leadership here in Florida and federally is making the best decisions for our safety. So we love you guys and hope you'll play Uno with us this Saturday, May the 2nd at four o'clock and have some fun doing that. Yes. Can you open that door though? So <laughs> um, just to do a recap really quick, uh, Saturday we're going to play our uh, UNO happy hour game and we would love to see you guys come by between today and tomorrow and, pick and up your um, package. the early 
part of Saturday to pick up your Uno package in order to play along Eventbrite. We're going to set up the event on Eventbrite. And yeah. if you want to RSVP that you'll be playing along, please go. The link will be on the Main Street Station Facebook page along with the friends who love Main Street Station. So yes. um, we potentially will send out an email Saturday morning reminding you guys. And you can come pick up your orders between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Yes. So we'll see you then. All right. Okay. Until then, <laughs> see you on Peace the other out. side.